Yo, what's up guys? I asked for questions on Twitter for a Q&A. I figured I wanted to do a 30K Q&A V2 because it's been a really long time since I've done a Q&A and there's probably some stuff that my opinions have changed on or there's new things you wanna ask me, so Q&A time. When I originally quit Minecraft, I was at like 36K. We dropped all the way down to like 28. So now we're back at 30 and we're already moving on 31, so that's cool. I guess we'll just hop right into it. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just record the whole thing with no audio. We'll start off with just a goofy one. Why you bully me? That is a incredibly old screenshot. I mean, rest in peace, Crazy Walls. That's really all I gotta say about this. That was in 2016 that was taken. I remember you, man, we had some fights. To answer your question, I mean, I had to, dude. I had like a 30 KD in Crazy Walls. I couldn't die, so I had to bully you. Hopefully you've recovered. Do you know where Finland is? Obviously I know where Finland is. Come on. This is Finland. What do you think Minecraft has that other games don't? This one's a tough one. If you're speaking generally about the whole game, I think there's not that many incredible sandbox games out there compared to other categories of video game. So between it really not having any structure and you really being able to do whatever you want whenever you want, it kind of attracted all age groups and made it very, very successful. If you're talking about multiplayer, more specifically PvP, I have yet to play a game that feels as satisfying to kill people in than Minecraft. I have played so many different genres of games. I've always played FPS games. None of them feel as satisfying. So it's just a really unique feeling. Wanna play some Sky Clash? I mean, yeah, if you got a time machine, rest in peace to yet another game. Have you ever been banned or muted on Hypixel? I have been banned and muted two times, I believe. I got muted by Farmer Lights one time. So that was fun. Shout out to you, Farmer. Wasn't proud of those days. I definitely deserved it that time. And then I was banned for verbal abuse, but I made a whole video on that. I looked through my chat logs for like the past year of connecting there in party chat, guild chat, and all chat, and I never once found anything that I said that would have got me banned for verbal abuse. I don't know what happened there. Never got to the bottom of that, but hey, you know, you just gotta take it. I, I can't even believe I forgot about this ban. I actually have been banned on Hypixel for Killora. Party of five helpers, a mod who would actually go on to become admin. Dwyer always targeted me in every game he saw me in. He would literally chase me for five minutes at a time, so I'm sure that's what ended up happening. But they got me. They got me. What? Uh, I'm still complaining, but Jesus. What? Are you f kidding me? I was also banned for compromised account, but that was when I was playing on other people's accounts for different series and videos that I was making at the time. And I guess it just detected that there's logins all around the world. It just flagged all accounts in that chain of logins. So mine was one of them. What was the game that you had the most fun on Minecraft mini games? I have to say Skywars. I don't think there's been another game, specifically Mega Skywars, by the way, but I don't think there's been another game that I've had that amount of fun. Like 2016, 2017 Mega Skywars was unbelievable. If you know, you know, if you don't, you'll never know. If you could update Skywars like you want, what would you change about it? That's a really hard question. I think a lot of people that have been playing a very long time all know that Skywars has to be updated and changed, but none of us have an answer for how best to do that. I don't know what I would change to make it fresher. Adding maps are cool, adding kits are kind of cool, but like that's not enough to keep it special, you know? In terms of what I would change gameplay wise, I would delete Frog Kit. I would nerf scout kit and I would really readjust all speed related things in Skywars because it's way too powerful in Minecraft, way too powerful in Skywars. If they did that, all of the other kits in the game would become that much more relevant. I think that'd be a good play. Have you, will you ever play HCF? Nope. All right, moving on. No, I'm kidding. Um, I've gotten probably 10,000 different business inquiries about HCF servers and I've never once even bothered because I find it really boring. I think most of the time they are just that, a money grab. I don't think nearly a quarter of all the servers out there would be even known if they didn't pay an absurd amount of money for promotions. I'm just gonna stick away from that whole scene. Do you watch anime? If so, what are your favorites? Trash. Go basketball player. Well, for the longest time, I really did believe it was LeBron. There's just a way that he commands the game every single time he steps onto the court. But then after watching a lot of Michael Jordan related content on YouTube, specifically uh, a couple documentaries, I think I've just accepted that Jordan is the best to ever do it. Skill wise, I think an argument could be made for several players. Legacy wise, I don't think anyone comes close to Jordan, which then would give him the edge, I would say. Can we 1v1? No. Do you have a GF? No. Did you ever grind any games on Mineplex before switching to Hypixel? Yes. Yes, I did. 
I have 45 days on Mineplex. I have nearly a thousand bridges wins at like an 80% win ratio. I have several thousand survival games played. I have several thousand one in the quiver games played. I played a lot before I switched over. Pet monkey or not? Um, the first thing I want to say is yes, because how amazing would that be? But then you think about like keeping it happy and healthy, and then you kind of say, that's not worth it. So no. Favorite color and food. I guess as a kid, my favorite color was always green through probably like the first like 12 years of my life or something. And I kind of transitioned to liking a lot of different colors. Like I really like purple. I really like red. I really like orange now. Favorite food though, probably if I had to pick a food that would be my go-to when I was dying, I'd probably pick like enchiladas, probably. I just, I love Mexican food. Obviously I love all American food or Italian food. Mexican food is something special. From my boy, Nightbot. In fact, Nightbot and I were the ones playing Mindplex back in 2013, 14. We go way back. Anyways, how can you stand to be the only one I see that does not clickbait on YouTube? Well, I think you gotta define what clickbait is. Do you mean, how am I the only one that doesn't just flat up lie in my titles and thumbnails? I would agree with that. I think I still clickbait, but appropriately. I think any YouTuber should have a certain level of clickbait because you just cannot make it in this day and age without really thinking of a title and thumbnail and video concept that will draw people in more than normal. So yeah, I don't flat out lie like so many people do, especially in Minecraft, just the most absurd titling and thumbnails you've ever seen. Half the stuff nowadays doesn't even occur in the video. It has no relevancy to the video. It pisses me off. I don't do that. I have some integrity, but I don't know, man. I mean, I guess it just comes down to integrity. Wanted to say loving the content. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wait, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's correct. And what superpower? I mean, I feel like if you're not picking like teleportation or time travel, you're not really maximizing your potential. Like, you can do way more with either of those two things than you could with a single other power. Can you give some context to your Twitter profile? Yeah, actually, Fiery, um, that's just a picture of me, probably around Halloween. I would assume that's my Halloween costume. I don't know how old I am. Five? Probably, around there. I'm just dressed up as a fireman. I found it in a book that my mom made uh, for last Christmas. It was a great gift. It was one of the best gifts I've gotten, actually. It was just a whole bunch of pictures from, like, when I was two weeks old all the way to now, and it was just all of her favorite pictures that she had. Technically not all she had. It is titled Volume 1, so I'm hoping that I'll get some more volumes in the future, but that's about it. I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> For us Packers fans, to, to give a little context, Muffin and I are both from Wisconsin, so we're both Packers fans. But for us Packers fans, what are your predictions for the 2019 NFL season? Record, play of Rodgers, playoff hopes, etc. A lot of you probably don't care, so I'll answer this quickly. We're 2-0. and Let's go. You like Jazz. Alright, so Jazz, that's actually not a question. This is a Q&A. That's an emphatic statement with four exclamation points, so fairly confident you know the answer to that one. And this one almost knocked me out of my chair. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick has presented us an actual coherent English sentence. Shocking. But he says, if you could have your channel revolve around anything else besides Minecraft, what would it be? I genuinely hope to introduce some more IRL stuff into my channel. I have my new phone now. I hope to either get a camera or some sort of a GoPro or something to start to make more IRL videos. I think that's the direction I would take it. The dream for me would be having a gaming channel and a IRL channel where I just post whatever I'm feeling like at the time. I think I watch more non-video game related content than video game related content. There's a lot of different things I'd like to do. I hope to get out on the courts before it becomes winter and there's three feet of snow. I'm hoping to record another basketball video. I went way too hard after I got cleared by the doctor, so my arms are really sore right now. So I'm kind of waiting for those to put me in a place where I can actually do some things. I never want to make my IRL friends uncomfortable. I would like to do vlog style videos when I go on these trips with my friends. There's some hilarious stuff and I think they'd make really, really funny videos, not just for myself, but you guys. But that's kind of one of those things where it's like, if they don't want a camera in their face or just in general, I gotta kind of respect that. But I'll see, we'll see. And lastly, Zane. Again, shocking that it's an actual question and a very deep one at that. Are you happy? Yeah, I, th I think I think I am. I'm generally a pretty happy person. I'm definitely a glass half full person. I'm certainly happier than I have been the last several months. When I broke both my elbows, I wasn't able to do anything for a month straight and it made me kind of go crazy a little bit. And I realized there's a lot of things in my life that I was not happy with. The last several weeks have just been trying to fix a lot of those things and improve myself. So I think I am already happier than I have been. I think I answered that adequately. 
that'll wrap it up. Hopefully this isn't that long. If I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. I This would have literally been an hour long if I answered everything. And some questions I would have loved to go into more detail on, but again, hour long, can't do that. Thank you to everyone that submitted a question. We'll do this in the future too, if you wanna see more of this. Let me know by dropping a like, and I'll make it more clear next time when I'm doing it so I can get different questions from different people. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. On our way to 31K already, which is kinda cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.